All right, here I'm going to do something for this episode, but um, the only use for certain. As great as a monarch as she, she is, um, with such a very old age, you know what I miss? Fighting in wars. And you know what else I miss? Territorial expansion. That's what I plan on doing. Um, but it's going to be a series of uh, wars that I will be starting. Um, first things first, Bohemia, which is, you know, it's a Jewish kingdom of Bohemia. Um, what I'm gonna do is a uh, holy war test. Um, don't need Russia's help because we're simply just gonna get our army over to this territory and grab it, then fight the Byzantines for the control of Transylvania, then, then fight for the rest of Pest against Poland, which will be the hard part since it's a giant tribal state with many Christian allies on their side, especially the uh extremely powerful um, Holy Roman Empire so yeah for once I'm gonna get my happy ass off this throne and start being in the vanguard and just go back to bring that brave brave word that I've always been Again, this should be the easy one. No need for Runthia's help. Just get in there. Um. Just get in there. Besiege area. Me done. Then a real war will begin with the Byzantines. Which is a weakened empire. Due to revolts as well as the success of the expansion of the Seljuk. What is this? claim. Well, interesting. Yeah, they're gonna run off. This will be a bloodless um, takeover. Take the temple, then that's it. May have to go back down and <laughs> deal with those guys down there. Oh, war is over. Moment. To give you this county of yours that um, that I hired you from, and in turn you shall be Zoroastrian. I want the Avars to govern this newly conquered territory. Any, every territory that we take over from Pannonia um, will be ran by Avars. This group of people that are nearly extinct. <laughs> Not really, but you would be surprised. Raiders. They're not Vikings, these are... Step people. Turks. Or ghost Turks. Oh dear. Wait till you link up with them. Awfully powerful vassal you are.
Okay. That's one down. The Byzantine Empire is weak. Which, again, the Seljuks took over Ar Armenia and, and now it's suffering with many revolt wars. None of which are independence, but it's more of claim of a throne. A Game of Thrones, if you will. If Vidin wants Moldo. Okay. Good luck with that. Well, meanwhile, I'm going to Transylvania. Hope Ruthia is not busy with anything. Because we need your help. <laughs> Manichaean revolt. I didn't know there was up there. And I know you're having a hard time despite that we've helped you many times, but we'll deal with our affair first. Just gather around. We'll go up to the Demis and Transylvania and take it over. Then the rest of the Duchy of Pest. Which is where modern day Budapest is, that county in particular. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the last few years of my life in territorial expansion. Oh, they have an Orthodox Kagan? That's in the Crimea area, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that. That's about it. Where's my army? Oh, there it is. I didn't look at the capital. Silly me. And what is Bulgaria up to? Are you fighting territory? Adrianopolis. That's where the other Bulgarians live. <laughs> Although they don't technically live there traditionally, but they've been there for a while. We are crumbling the empire little by little. Croatia, the Seljuks, and now Bulgaria wants a piece of it. We are systematically destroying the empire piece by piece. If I wanted to go out, if Hura Mazda wishes me to go to heaven, well, I'm going out on my terms. And that is to fight, fight, fight. Eh, you may want to split. Because of the su supplies, logistical reasons. Strategy's still the same. Just wondering. What on earth? Treason? I just hired that man. No, 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 it's him that if it's a read. Pay attention to the read. What's wrong if I asked about it? Uh, yeah, why not? I'm a just ruler. Should just apply to it.
Ah, today's your lucky day. You're gonna be the new spy master. And I forgot. Imprison this man. Now he's no longer Astabon. We'll have a new one, but the highest skill we've got is a Russian. And she's married to Mutime. There you have it. Ah, oh, here's a man with better stewardship. Fully taken over. And same goes for that area. Again, for Transylvania. I introduced me at Dresdenstavo. Trista, Dobrostavo, Todropetsky, uh... <coughs> I've been able to get along, but apparently it's not interesting in making an effort so not our rivals. <laughs> That's their lives, not mine. It's their problem. Okay, there's two holdings there and four there. Ten sixty six. That's the year of the beginning of the high middle ages. <laughs> oh, it's just some guy who runs a university in Constantinople. That doesn't mean anything. Go down this way. Well, it's too bad we can't make Croatia an empire as much as I would have loved to have been the first empress, but you can't create the title of a uh, of uh, Panonia because you have to be an Avar. <laughs> yeah, you would have to be an Avar for that. <laughs> or the, or the mega culture Hungarian, if you will. Or this sort of thing. I was about to say, look at God, is this the first major war in the sense of, hey, we're facing a big empire, we're not facing any huge numbers or any major battles for that matter, which makes it almost a bloodless takeover. Almost. But, um, it, but it is not without taking over any prisoners. <laughs> Okay, here it is. There we've taken over Transylvania. Then again, you can't convert your culture to um, Avar because that would have been funny if I somehow created this kingdom tunnel if I changed my culture to Avar. And then, uh. Huh, oh, you know. <laughs> Okay, now all we need is to... Hang on. Hey, you! How about you take over all of this? 
Maybe you should be the future king of Benoia, but that would cause you to break out in independence. And that would be a problem. Giving you all the titles there, Chief. You're going to be the only Zoroastrian Ivar that runs this area. And you're going to appeal to those kind of people. Whew. And we're going to have to settle down a little because of the, you know, defensive pact. And how you doing? Again, that's for Bulgaria's part, not mine. start getting low on money you can always go to war against Venice for an embargo war would have given me 500 some odd gold for a quick war they ran I just wanted to expand the territory because I wanted to give out a lasting impression before I finally go. Now we can finally catch him. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to leave the battle. I'm going to seclude myself with prayer and meditation. be diligent but yet I feel like I've been diligent not uh, fighting against Norway huh where is that capital of Norway there it is Frat to Sally Frat de Sully, or Little Brethren, is a Catholic heresy that originated in a Franciscan order of monks. It is devoted to poverty and ascetism, um, especially for men of the cloth. Frat de Sully heretics are violently opposed to the church weapon displays of opulence. But they can have their own pope. But that can only work if they actually go down to Rome, take over, and install a new pope there. Kind of similar to what I did with the Vukovic tales when I was Serbia, when we took over Constantinople, overthrew the old Orthodox, and installed an iconoclast patriarch. God, that was a maddening series. Alright, uh, now that we got the uh, Transylvania, this, um, but we don't have the duchy title of it unless you want to create one. But I would rather have, again, let the Avar rule on um, the land that we know as uh, Pannonia. Good choice <laughs> on who you're with. <laughs> now, what is this righteous imprisonment? 29% chance. Uh, I would arrest this man. Although he has become a powerful vassal and he wants to fabricate a claim. If I have to fight him in a war, fine by me. Because huh, I could use some more flexibility. Unless we safely imprison him. No one will eject. Okay, it's us versus Dalmatia. Revolt against my rule. So you could say, 
Everybody loves Queen Yadriga except me, Hilo. I'm Odegani, whose grandfather was Serbian, and yet he changed his culture to Croatian. When we put you in prison, we're going to revoke your titles, particularly uh, Dalmatia, because I, I, I can control another duchy if I want to, rather than just one. But I would love to have Dalmatia just to control these two counties here. And, uh, among other things. Nevertheless, my spy master, you are really funding this up. Despite the fact you're an amateurish plotter, you are getting quite a talent. <laughs> Savar's a talented man. Bosnia has been good to me. Reveler. Oh, he's arbitrary. You'll live to regret this. Signed a non-aggression pact with uh, Runthea. Let Dalmatia get her um Okay, I'm only doing this because I'm looking for something to pass the time as this threat level goes down, which it just did. And, uh... <laughs> so you could say, hey, fighting more wars. Ursura, the part of Bosnia, is now back to being Zoroastrian. Now I'll convert one last, um, Mazdaki County of Rama. And with that, the Mazdaki threat is over. My grandson and my great grandson riding with their great great grandmother. My moodiness and tendency to lash out people is getting worse. I sleep too little and can't seem to stop to worry. I'm stressed. I guess it must be all the wars. <laughs> I would like to think of that. But if I die of severe stress, that's no total loss. Because I always expect myself to die, not war related wounds. What if it's depression, stress, or natural? I'm fine with it. Come here! Come here, you little bastard. But still, I'm a great warrior. Oh, we killed Duke Mihailo. The Duke of Dalmatia is dead, but Zvonimir is the newest one. If I see you out there, all I could say is be there or be squared. I'm talking about him as leading an army. Hundred and fourteen gold for a crate of stones, a bunch of rocks. Again, after we win this war, we're going to revoke some of his titles. The new duke, that is, particularly Dalmatia. That title was mine. So we wanted to have more control. Or to increase our troop numbers as well as uh, gold income. So there you go. Must have special revoke reason if we have a truce. Uh, well, I, I can't do that. Damn it. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
You're under house arrest. Until further notice. And plus, you seem to like me. I'm giving you a few years uh, because I'm. Because my hands are full. So you could say. That damn it, we should have never killed that Duke. Guess that's what happens when we're just too damn brave. We just uh, attack those guys and um, and all this sort of thing. <laughs> the University in Bologna. In recent years, the necessity for an educated clergy has brought the creation of a larger and more organized schools. One of such schools in Bologna has achieved in particular prominence and students from all across Italy are flocking to take advantage of its teachings. If I only had the time. Well, guess what? Now that there's a university out there, I can't send any of my children to be taught there. Uh, because, for one simple reason, it's because we're Zoroastrians. Fight those raiders. Ninety-nine years old, huh? Uh, apparently, uh, could at least get some money out of you. As well as all the others. Oh yeah, sorry about that new Duke of Dalmatia. We killed the old guy who wanted to rebel against me. So, no hard, no feelings, right? <laughs> oh, you want some of this too? Yeah, he's a bad man. Sit there and think about it. Unless I want to be a cheapskate. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> we're going to put you in jail. And then we're going to release you. See, we took some money out of you. That's what this was about. It was all about the money. I noticed that Poland has feudalized the troops, which is bad. That means they're going to have... Well, those are just mercenaries. Um, that they're going to have... Um, not all of them have been feudalized yet, but they're going to have castles, cities, and churches, and they'll have many, many troops at its disposal, which kind of makes them effectively almost of an empire, much like I'm trying to expand to make ours kind of of an empire. And Bulgaria got big, too. Congratulations. Now that they took over this area, but down there too. <laughs> I think we may have to take advantage of a newly feudalized uh, Poland because they don't have any huge number of troops except for the mercenaries that they've hired. Plus, they're defending against over a little claim war. Oof. Um, well, I'm going to take a big fat risk. No, not that one. This one. Holy War for Pecs. Pest. Um, just to get these two counties. Um, uh, so the Avar can run that area. But, mind you, there are nearby Catholic groups such as Bavaria, Holy Roman Empire, Austria, and, and numerous others as well. So you may want to make uh, alliances.
It's too bad we can never, you know. This is going to be my last war on my part of life, I think. Go the other way. Just be safe. A Teutonic Order joins. This is gonna be messy. Ruthia does join. Fighting over a tributary. We will break alliance with, uh, with Ruthia, who would be willing to help us. And I do not want to lose prestige. <laughs> But hey, we're allies for now, okay? Oh, and also I'm stealing an artifact, um, which I'm taking my air Boyan sword arm with me because of his very high martial skill. Let's force our way inside. We're just stealing an itty bitty book. Rush them before they raise the alarm. Time to get unconventional and we might get caught at the end. Nope, oh, we did. The philosophy of Georgios. That's what I got. The philosophy of Georgios. Georgios. God, I got a big pile of books here. There it is. This book contains valuable philosophical musings of Georgios. It's written by a man named Georgios. Some Greek. Um. It just gives you plus one on the learning, which he was a doctor of philosophy in the past, so I thought, hey, plus one on the learning skills, so, hey, it's for future beneficial rulers, huh? <laughs> So let me remind you, Runthia is fighting against uh, Rosam. It's it's a tributary war, which I find it. What the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> and what is Venice doing? Oh brother. Yeah, good luck with that, which they've already lost at this point for the Holy Roman Empire because of, uh, you know, the Seljuk Cognate, Cognate, uh, is very, very strong. Poland. There's the Titanic Quarter. Let's get him.
Wait a minute, are my strategies about this the same? Yes, yes, they are. And I am a hundred years old. <laughs> the oldest documented non-immortal ruler that I've ever played. Not to mention there's mods! Yeah, mods. Um. Yeah, I might want to come back down. No longer have marriage ties. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Because this is what happens when you outlive your children. Get that land back. Well, holding. It's just a tribe. Tribe of land. Ran by the Avar. Holy sh... Whoa, how did it get it? How did a Teutonic Order get this big? Hired? Did they hire a bunch of uh, Holy Orders? Which I can't check that because I'm Zoroastrian. <laughs> but that's kind of scary to be seeing those kind of numbers. Just, just finish besieging. Get down there and help them. It'll be too late by, by the time. But still, holy shit, that's a lot. Oh, a higher. <laughs> ah, the thrill of battle. The stresses of rulership feel insignificant when I have a sword in my hand and an enemy to fight. And Uhura Mazda, forgive me, I can't help but enjoy the slang of my enemies, too. <laughs> I never felt so alive when I'm killing others. Oh, man, I'm cruel. But I'm only cruel towards, uh... Um, killing non-Zoroastrians. But... That's what happens when you get an old age. Well, don't worry. Yadrin Kadagoras was won't be remembered as a cruel woman. You can't get rid of cruelty, but let's just uh, destroy these bastards. Jerusalem over there, but not Jerusalem in in the whole in uh, Palestine or Israel or whatnot, but uh, they're up in Poland. go down there again. Head this way. Although the only benefit about having a cruel trait, which not only increases a little intrigue, but also morale damage as well. Which is good for against bigger armies, you know, kill their morale easier. Especially that I'm known for tackling on larger armies than I am. soon. And it is. Yahoo. Oh, I can usurp the title. 
Okay, okay. It's yours now. Now you are the high chief of pest. this would work because of age reasons. Gee, I didn't think of that. Why don't we just give away whatever women that we captured as prisoners and start giving them to to certain vassals, concubines. Yeah, that's something I did when I was Bohemia back then. So, why not? Oh, feast. Because, you know, I passed a hundred, so why not? Let's have a feast for the hundred and first birthday, even though my birthday's on August 27th. Of course, the Slovenian doesn't like me. Say, how about we get our avar friend to spy on him and try to jail him? Welcome to my feast. What would a feast be without entertainment? The jongleur's uh, dexterity and skill impressed and captivated my guests make me very pleased with them. <laughs> Dux Volner greatly approves of the jugglers. Everyone drank and were happy except Mayor Kresimir of Karlobag, refu who refused more wine. This insulting gesture means he does not appreciate my hospitality. Now you listen here. I'm a person of moderation. Why should I really care about... Hey, why aren't you drinking all the wine I produced? Oh hey, my lunch day five. Just wanted to get more piety and prestige gain and bonus for a short reign here. <laughs> and if only I was an empire, then I would definitely have an imperial administration. Which again, that can only work if you are an empire. Title rank emperor, yeah. Bulgaria doing? Nothing. But I do know for a fact that Ruthia and Rus are fighting each other because it's a tributary war. As well as an occasional revolt or two. Maybe I can finally have some peace around here. Alright, all of Caritia slash Slovenia is now Zoroastrian. Now we just gotta get rid of the Mazdaki here. And then you and as for the Catholics and the Orthodox that live in our newly captured counties, oh that's gonna be your problem, Dukum. Dukum, is that how you pronounce your name? Oh he's depressed. I don't know what happened. <laughs> don't know what happened to him. <laughs> but one can't grieve forever.
Oh, what is this? Oh, that's it. Transylvania is also yours. Moldau broke away. Nobody else but just Moldau. Which brings me an idea. Let's storm that area really quick. And after we take care of them. Then who knows, maybe I'll try to declare another holy war against the visiting empire to grab these two counties. They're part of... Well, okay, yeah. They're part of that. So therefore I would have a duchy title. And uh... Yeah, I'm really, really... Aroused around the idea of possibly... Get all of Wagia. Unless I wanted to fight the Bulgarians, uh... This way. As a way of, uh... Who knows, huh? Create another kingdom? But again, I'm not immortal, so that means I don't have all the time in the world to do that. Because I might die eventually, and the idea of forming an empire of Croatia by having Croatia, Serbia, and Wallachia at the same time, uh to form an empire man that would be great but unfortunately that's not gonna happen in my opinion no matter how well or how fast you do it Keep it to yourself. Okay, did some thinking. <laughs> Let's fight the Byzantines one more time. Okay, just to take these two counties there and there. So we go to over there. And the rest of the armies, please come. And come on over here, Runthia. And also, after this war, I'm, I might possibly do an, an idea that is so stupid that it might work. You'll find out why, if I'm still alive, and this, assumingly that I'm still alive, and the war better be over quick. <coughs> My grandson Mutamir died of poor physique. there. Also, what was what? Ah, oh, never mind. University. University with no troops. <laughs> when I say stupid idea, I mean that Avar. I mean, yeah, he's been good to me, but he's been depressed. And knowing that I'm the heir of this high chiefdom. She's not pregnant, right? No. Nope. Well, what about the concubine? Tooled, huh. I assume. But, um, let's say I plan on assassinating my Avar friend who's been good to me. Um, and I'm going to move my capital to Pest, where there's Avar populated. 
change my culture to Avar, form the kingdom of Anoyatado and Serbia, and boom, you got the Empire of Croatia formed. It's a stupid idea that might work, but let's get this done quick before I die or this war goes on for too long. I wonder how you have a tendency to get cynical at old age. <laughs> Not saying cynical as in religion t context, I'm saying this sort of thing that I'm doing. Oh. Never mind. He's in jail. He's in Constantinople now. And my Urbad is my spy master, an odd choice. You know what? Let's do that right now. Give him his death sentence early. If I become a known murderer for this, I don't give a fuck. I'm just doing something rad or stupid. That might work. Alright, Mayor Provo, my cold spirit tells me that a man is now inside a prison where High Chief Dukum, uh sits. He will arrange an escape attempt uh, in which one of the prisoners will sadly suffer a tragic and very fatal accident. No one will expect to play foul on our part. Uh, hold on. It's just me considering. So what are these Yabu, uh, Yabu goods doing? Ah, never mind. Ah, he refused to take a bait and attempt to escape. At least no one suspects my role in this. Just try again. But then again, I'm no good at whistling on video. <laughs> As per usual, let's try it again. You better take the bin for all stuff. There, no more Mazdakis. Well, he loses his trade post and we still get the money for it. I only did that because, well, that's just me being cruel. Cruel towards others that are not Zoroastrian. Success, High Chief Dukum was killed while attempting to escape from prison. No fingers will, point, will be pointed my way. Sentence commuted. Okay, I control two counties. Yeah, I have the wrong counties, but um, we'll do something about it. Hurry up, besiege the area, and war will be over in a jiffy. Enough pulling around. Very soon, the Byzantine Empire might send a peace deal before we even reach the 100% war score. Because they're dealing with so many revolts that they just can't handle it anymore. Here's the money. Oh, 
Oh, I thought it was the uh, face down. No, that's the patrol. Okay, one more holding, then, then we got him. Yeah, yeah, give me the money. Oh, just get it over with. Cut it out. There it is. Okay, give me a minute. I'm gonna do something rather stupid there. Let's move our capital to Pest. Then, uh... Convert the culture to Avar. Sorry, my helmet looks different. Uh... Next... Create the tunnel of a uh, Pannonia, and then Kingdom of Serbia. And found a new empire. There it is. It worked. This is the Empire of Croatia now. Well, then again, we can't move the capital back to soon, but... <sighs> I'm not spending my technology points there. So, yeah, there you have it. The Empire of Croatia is formed. Um. That's continent of Croatia, mind you. <clears throat> so yeah, it's been a great episode for a rapid territory expansion to form a new empire in the middle of Europe. See you next time, people!